Hey guys, Toxic here, and we're back in our NHL 13 Be a GM mode commentary with the Toronto Maple Leafs. In the last episode, I was asking you guys basically uh, what we should do for the lines, if we should edit them or not. And I saw one comment that was saying to edit the lines, so let's let me get into my coaching options here and edit the lines. There we go. And people are saying put Kessel on the right wing, which I do agree since he is more of a natural right wing. And some people were saying to trade away Corey Perry for like Patrick Kane, and I got a private message saying for like. Uh, I think it was, uh, who was it now? I forget, but it was some superstar, right? And yeah, I know Pete Perry's not really the best guy, but he's really well-rounded. I really like him, you know, five-star shooting, four-and-a-half-star puck skills, five-star senses, four-and-a-half physical skating and defense. You know, he's just really well-rounded as a player, so that's why I think I'm going to hold on to Perry for a tiny bit more, and he's also leading our team in goals. And, you know, it's nine points in 13 games isn't awful. So if he was doing awful, like negative, like a minus, uh, 15, let's say, and only like one point in 13 games, then I could see what you guys are saying, but for now, I'm just going to hold on to Perry and see what happens, you know, because I still, it's only been a month, right, it's only been one month, so I'm going to give Perry a tiny bit longer to uh, flourish, you know what I mean, but now that we made that minor change, uh, we are at 6-6-1, which is only 500, but I imagine this team will pick it up here, so I'm just going to sim up, uh, who, I forget, who is in the cage, I'll just go with whatever goal he's in there for now, I'll give him four games, so there we go, Four games for whoever's in that. I'm pretty sure it might be Howard. I might be wrong. It might be James Reimer. We'll have to see, though. But, yeah, guys, uh, in case you guys didn't see on my own channel, my own GM for my channel, my New York Islanders be a GM with commentary. When my PS3 died, I lost a few save files on other games and NHL 12. So, I actually did lose my Islanders GM, which, you know, it kind of sucks because we never got to finish off the year. We never got to win the Stanley Cup in the year five or anything like that. So, um... Definitely, it sucks, but not to worry, you guys. I, like I said, I made a video yesterday. I'm pulling out a new GM really soon, you guys, for us on my channel. And I put a three teams that you guys can comment. I need you guys to comment on that video. This video is not going to help me too much. If you guys go to my channel, go to my most recent video. If you comment on that video, the three teams are the Philadelphia Flyers, the uh, Detroit Re Red Wings, Surrey, and the um, uh, San Jose Sharks. So any of those three teams, you know, if you guys want to comment away saying what we should do for them. And I'm also looking, I made another video saying, uh, I'm looking for a new Let's Play. You know, I'm still going to do NHL, and this is also like a kind of, I guess you could say a playthrough, Let's Play walkthrough. But, um, you know, on my channel in general, just my channel I'm talking about, I'm looking for a new Let's Play, like a Let's Play. But I want to have a game, you know, that's more of a fun kid game for me. Uh, I know you guys are saying kid game, oh yeah, it's a kid game. But, you know, games that I played a lot when I was really young. And, uh, enjoyed a lot, you know, like, I know Pokemon was one, I know, like, Lego Star Wars was another, and any types of games, or even games that you guys enjoyed when you were kids, if you guys want to post a comment below on that video, it's a Call of Duty commentary, I believe, the most recent one I have on my channel, uh, if you guys want to go check that out. Anyway, so it's time to stop talking about my channel, time to get into the game here, so, that's, uh, wow, four games in a row and Howard is in the net, god damn, Howard, keep it going. Four games for Howard, I'm going to give him another four here. That boosted our record. You see, like, the record isn't really that bad, you know. Like, four wins are already looking super good. So, it doesn't really matter that early in the season. And see, Perry's still leading our team in goal. So, how can I get rid of the goal lead or the team goal leader, right, you know? Yeah, he's leading us a penalty match. It's actually kind of surprising because I thought he had di good discipline. I might be wrong, though. But still, though, he's our goal leader, you know. He's not doing bad at all on that first line. And if Kessel gets, like, a 60 assist season and Backstrom does too, let's say, then I'm not going to necessarily be mad at Kessel for not scoring, like, 40, 50 goals. Although I prefer him to, but if he had, like, a 60 assist season, that's still a really good year for a guy like him. And goddamn, we're still on a five-game winning streak. Keep it going, Howard. Oh, my God, we're doing amazing. I'm so happy right now. I was kind of worried, you know, oh man, this could be a bad year, because this year is the year I planned for it to be uh, a cup run year. I know it's kind of an early, fast rebuild, but, you know, those are always the best ones, and basically, you know, um, bait, uh, what was I going to say now? Oh yeah, just the way the team is, you know, we got such a deep team, you know, where we have Fanoff, Michael Delzato, um, we have, a. Uh, uh, what's his name now? Gardner, Franzen, we got Gunnarsson, we got JML for defense, right? Goaltending, we have Howard and uh, Reimer, you know, then also on uh, forward or first line stack with Backstrom, Perry, and Kessel. Then we got JVR with Lupul and uh, uh, who was in the middle of them? Fratton, I think. Yeah, that's a really funny second line. I didn't expect Fratton to get that good, but I'm happy he did. You know, we got really did 
a deep team, so we're really expecting a big playoff run from this team. Okay, so it looks like uh, Howard did lose one game there, but he still has another three wins, so he gets another three games here. Goddamn, Howard's going to run James Reimer out of a job here pretty soon if he keeps playing like this. Keep it going, Howard. And look at that. See, Perry's already got 11 goals, and it's not even December yet, right? So, like, for me personally, I think you can be a 50-goal scorer if you get, like, 30, 28 like 30 to 28 goals by the All-Star break. That's when I think he can be a 50-goal scorer, right? And Perry's got 11 by now. He's definitely, I'd say, on track for that, you know, because the All-Star game still two months away. You know, two months, if he triple his points, it's 30, or triple his goals, sorry, that's 33, or one. Yeah, so, no, it's three months away, sorry. But yeah, like I was saying, though, you triple his goals, and that's 33, you know, so I'd say he's pretty much set for a good goal run here. Backstrom's already almost got 20 assists. See, our team's just doing really good. And Kessel's doing good, though, too. He's, he's got 10. He's a plus 10, you know. Better than most teams out there in the league. And we're just trading some wing, wins together here. I don't think we've lost in regulation in however many games now. it has been quite a few that we haven't lost in regulation. We took one loss a week ago, but that was in overtime. Against the Islanders, let's see what we can do, though. The New York Islanders, a team that I was never able to bring a cup to. Come on, you guys. Keep the streak going. Come on. God damn, the PS3 Slim is so slow. And there we go. He picks up another three straight wins. I'm just curious now. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, so eleven games we have we have gone without losing in regulation. Uh, and so yeah, continue going with this. So that's another three games, or only two, I guess. We'll do a third one after. Let's give him another two games here to the first, and then we'll check the stats, and we'll do one more month of simming. That was a pretty fast month, actually, now that I'm looking at it. You know, it's only seven minutes gone, and we're almost pretty much done the month. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying the first seven minutes of the commentary. Um, uh, let's see what we can do here against the Rangers, though. And actually, I'm just going to make a few side notes. Uh, my GM on my own channel, I just forgot to mention this in that video that I made yesterday, but uh, the GM on my own channel, the new one that we we'll are be doing, that one I'm not going to start doing until they release a new update for... Uh, the, um, what's it called, um, for NHL 13, like, for the rosters, at, like, after the trade deadline, because, uh, I don't know, it might be out by the time you guys see this video, so don't rage if it already is, but right now, as I'm doing it, it's not out, so hopefully you guys will, uh, be patient enough to wait for that, because I, you know, it kind of sucks when the update comes out, like, halfway through your GM, at least this way, I know it's going to be the last update for a while, oops, just dropped the phone holder thing for my desk. Anyway, so I know it's uh, annoying to wait sometimes, but it's easier if you guys waited because in that way we know for sure there's not going to be another update because the trade deadline already happened and, you know, teams will be in the playoffs probably by the time we start the next one, but we'll see what happens and we just finish off the month there. That was a pretty good month. We had uh, one overtime loss. That is it. The entire rest of the month we were winning. We uh, picked up quite a few wins, so let's see what happens here. Okay, continue. Uh, so now in the Western Conference, looks like that. The Eastern Conference, see, we're climbing our way back up. You know, we're already technically top of the West, man. All the points are in the East this year. But uh, we got to beat Buffalo. We were only uh, three points behind Buffalo, though, so we're doing good. I know it says we're in fourth, but really we're the second best team tied with Montreal because Buffalo's in our uh, division there. Goals, Perry's up there. You know, he's second in the league. Like, how can I get rid of the guy that's second in the league in goals, right? Anyways. Um, assists, uh, Backstrom is up there in 6. Points, um, Backstrom is up there in 6 as well. Wins, Howard is up there, 2nd in the league, 1 behind Ryan Miller. Um, save percentage, Howard's not up there. Goals against average, Howard is not up there. Let's go to the stat central here, let's check out the player stats for the season. Let's check out how everyone's doing. Hopefully Kessel's up there for something, you know, maybe he's just like 1 behind, uh, goals and like two behind assists or something like that that won't be bad uh let's actually sort by goal so perry jvr backstrom kessel's got seven mcclement has six fratton solane bozak right uh assists we got backstrom del zotto jvr gardner lupo friends and friend perry kessel and points uh kessel's not doing awful but yet you also do have a defenseman in front of him which is kind of weird so he's also not doing the best you know um, Perry, if he had a few more assists, would be better, but, you know, this team's running right now, so I don't really care where everyone finishes in the points, uh, tallies, just because, you know, 
if we uh, end up going 52 wins in the season and Kessel doesn't get like 90 points, okay, I'll be fine with that. You know, um, we don't really need to check anything of this. Uh, goalies. Uh, looks like Grammar's playing a backup role. We gotta switch that up now. But Howard, you know, once he loses, uh, let's see now. Once he loses his next, next three, after three more losses, I'm switching him, okay? So after three more losses, Howard is gonna get switched and uh, he'll play. But anyways, though, Howard's playing amazing. 21 games played, a 1.65 goals against average, 16 wins, three losses, two shootout losses, and uh, 94.21 state percentage. Rhymer's stats haven't changed, by the way. And he also has three shutouts. Okay. So let's continue along here. So again, the second uh, Howard loses three more games, we'll switch them. And it doesn't matter if they're back-to-back -back or whenever they happen, right? We're just going to switch them. So... I hope that uh, Reimer doesn't get worse by this, but you know, if Howard's got the hot hand, then we gotta play Howard. If Reimer's got the hot hand, then we gotta play Reimer, but right now, Howard has the hot hand. I'm not gonna divert from him just to see if Reimer's playing good too. I don't know, you know, so I'm just gonna let Howard run it right now, and there you go, another shutout. You know, I can't really stop him from playing like this. Like, I'm happy for sure. Uh, it kinda sucks that Reimer's not gonna get much experience. I wish Reimer would be playing like this more so, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Colin White's on waivers. Let me view his info here. Um, he does have a contract. Yeah, two point four three million. Um, when is this deal up though? Oh, I wish it would tell me. See, I don't know. I pick him up for a playoff run, but I'm not sure when his deal is up. So I'm gonna pass on Colin White. Uh, just because, like I said, you know, I pick him up, but it's kind of hard if I don't know how long his deal is gonna be. And if his deal is like two or three years on that much money, definitely not. If it's one year, I could take it, but... Anyway, so let's go to Simon. Let's do the scouting up here. Um, see it now. I forget what we were doing. Uh, four forwards and the dub. Uh, not really the best. Four forwards and OHL, Q. Where's that? Like a top ten forward. I want to see one. Come on. There's a four and a half star guy. I'll scout him. Six weeks. Let's go up there. Okay. And he won two more games. So another three games for sure. For Howard, and if he keeps winning even more, goddamn Howard is playing awesome. So happy to finally see this this team playing how I planned them to play. You know, I was expecting them to play this good, but I was kind of disappointed. You know, after that first uh, video for the season, but then once uh, this video happens, I'm definitely happy for sure. Now, uh, let's see what happens here. Will Howard surrender a loss at any point in the season? Ah, uh, and there we go. As I say, I jinxed him. So there's a second loss. So if he loses one more game, we're or, that's his, wait, yeah, second loss, so if we lose his two more games, then we're going to switch him out here, um, let's see what happens here, there we go, there's a win, good bounce back, Howard, good job, got another game against Ottawa on the road, Battle of Ontario, see what happens, hopefully our team's better than theirs, I don't think Ottawa's that good of a team second year, I've seen them be, be uh, good teams years four and, like, five, because they have time to rebuild a bit. But I've never seen them be the best team. Yeah, see, they're not the best team after two years. And we surrender a loss. Wow, and an overtime one, too. But no matter what, like I said, get switch Howard out. Okay, let's go to coaching options. Edit the lines. And let's put in James Reimer. And now I'm going to give Reimer the same treatment. Four losses, and you're out. So there's his first four games. And if he loses all four of them, then he's out. You know, it's just how it goes. If Howard's going to play better, then he's going to keep playing. But... Let's hope Reimer can play as well as Howard did. That would be awesome to have this goaltender, goaltending story tangent just set up like this. So let's see what happens. Reimer's first game in like a month or whatever against the Calgary Flames on the road. Let's see what happens here. Come on, Reimer. We need you to get a win here. Come on. There we go. There's a good win, Reimer. Good job. So there's another win. And we'll keep going like this. Hopefully, uh, like I said, Reimer is able to pull off the same type of... Uh, moves and stuff that Howard was to keep winning, so let's hope Reimer can keep going. Looks like we've got a pretty big home, or away streak going here, and uh, yeah, I figured right now, guys, is a good time to talk about the NHL standings. I know uh, last night I checked them. I ain't checked them right now, and my phone's also not nowhere near me to check it right now, but uh, I know that the Flyers are definitely done, I'd say, you know. Flyers probably aren't going to be finishing the season in the playoffs. They're probably going to be finishing in the regular season, which it's going to happen at some point. You know, every team's going to go through a phase where they're not going to make the playoffs. It's going to happen in Pittsburgh, Rangers, Detroit, any of the good teams right now, you know. And there's lots of teams coming up, too. Like, Columbus is having a big turnaround year, and same with Edmonton, you know. 
So there definitely being some teams out there that are pulling their weight in switching for the other teams. It's kind of like a middle of the year type of year, if you know what I mean, like where half the teams that were good are still good and half the teams that were good are bad now and half the teams that are bad are good now and half the teams that were bad are still bad now, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of in the middle. I'd imagine a couple seasons, though, you know, Pittsburgh and Rangers would stop drop would start dropping too as well. Rangers kind of already have, but Pittsburgh for sure, and I can see it happening. You know, league teams are good right now, and then, you know, have like Minnesota, Florida, Edmonton, all these type of teams coming up. So uh, Reimer, what did, how do you do? Three and one, okay. So he gets another one, two, three games minimum or maximum. Sorry, no minimum. Can't talk today. Not focused at all, you guys, but uh. Gets another three minute um, games, and um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, like I said, he doesn't go three and zero oh, and three. Sorry. Hopefully, he just goes three and zero. Oh. That'd be probably a lot better for the team. But you know, this team's doing pretty good this year. Perry's already at almost at twenty goals, fifteen. So he's getting up there. You know. Uh, ooh, GM Pro, good job. Brown got another win as well, by the way. So let's check. Uh, the there we go. Staff abilities, upgrade the injuries, and I will. I'll upgrade the scouts a bit. Yeah, there we go. I'll leave it at that. Confirm purchase. Okay, so we got another game here. God damn, this is a really long wait. Oh, road streak here. I'm not sure how long we're going here. Quite a few games. I know Howard started in and Reimer's still going, so. And there we go. There's a loss for Reimer. Not the best. Um, is, that, is that two losses, I think? Or is that one? I think it's... I'm pretty sure it's two. So it's two losses for Reimer, so he gets another two games or two more losses and then he has to be kicked out of the net. So come on, Reimer, turn it around. Get back on the win here. Get back with a win. Win against Washington. There we go. Okay, so we get another two games. So one, two, and that's perfect. Brings us up to the first, and that's where we'll end the video. Okay, and yeah, so that'll be a perfect time for a video. It's not going to go super long. Like, a past few of my videos have gone, I will admit, very long. But not to worry, this one should be going normal speed. Oscar Lindbergh. From, yeah, there's been some trades. Cuba to um, New York or New York Rangers, sorry, and Oscar Oscar Lindbergh to the Florida Panthers looks like a pretty good prospect if they got Cuba out of it. But let's see now can Reimer finish off the uh, month with two more wins? Come on, two more wins, Reimer. That's all I'm asking from you. Two more wins. Two wins. You just gotta get one here and then one against Pittsburgh. Come on, Reimer. There's a win. Good job. Even a shutout too. And we got one more game left in this video, Reimer. Send out a win. Finish off the video with a win. Come on, Reimer. You got this for sure. See what happens, though, you guys. Really hope he does have it. Uh, come on, Reimer. Anytime game you guys want to sim up. Sorry, guys. I mean, it's kind of hard to talk, you guys. Uh, the PS3, you know, it's really hard to sim and talk just because the simming is so, so slow. Hopefully they fix that for NHL 14, you know. Or even possibly, I might switch over to the Xbox. I don't know. Long story. If you guys want to hear about my new console dealio thing, go look at my COD commentary on my channel. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, so there's another win. So there we go, Brammer. Good job. You know, we got 28-9-3 after uh, up to this January 1st. Let's check out the stats here. The uh, Western Conference looks like that. The Eastern Conference, we are in first. Yes, we are. 59 points, but Montreal and Buffalo are both three points behind us, so we're not out of the clearing yet. So definitely, definitely, we still have to keep winning games here. Um, check the goals. Uh, Perry fell off, but he's only one off, so it's not like he's doing awful. Only one goal off of uh, tie for fifth, you know, and two goals. He's in fourth, so he's still doing good. Assists, um, backs from same thing, but he's not that far off. Points, uh, no one's up there for us. Wins, uh, Howard has fallen, that's because he hasn't played too much, because Reimer has been playing this past month or so. Save percentage, Howard's number one. Goals against average, Howard is number one. Good job, Howard. Let's go to the uh, stat central here, player stats. Check out the NHL standings here. Come on, you guys. See what happens. Doo -doo -doo. Come on. There we go. So goals, Perry's our leader, JVR's behind him with 13, then Backstrom with 12, Lupo with 11, and Kessel only 11 goals. Come on, Kessel, you gotta pick it up here, man. Um, assist, Backstrom's up there with 24, Delzato's got 22, Gardner's got 20, JVR's got 18, 18 for Fratton, 8, or 15, sorry, for Franzen, and 14 for Lupo and Perry. And points, Backstrom's leading our team with 36 points, 
Perry's got 31, JVR's got 31, Brian's got 26, Lupul's got 25, uh, Gardner's got 24, and Kessel's only got 23 points. A little disappointed in Ke Phil Kessel, you know. Uh, yeah, imagine he could be doing a lot better on this team for sure, but we're winning, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, plus minus, Perry's leading the team, plus 19, but goddamn, look at our plus minus, everyone's doing good. Minus our uh, third line, Jesus, must be our third line, must be doing awful. That's it, though, everyone besides our third line is doing good. Power play goals, Perry's got six. Um, Short-handed goals, Perry and Delzato have the only short-handed goals. Game-winning goals, uh, Phil Kessel's got five, so at least he's getting goals when he needs them. At least he's getting them when we need them. Um, okay, who's the best face-off percentage? Um, it's a Kadri, but he, uh, yeah, he's not playing center, so Bozak's the best centerman, followed by Backstrom, so there we go. Hits, who's leading the team in hits? Dion, of course he would be. So Dion's leading the team in hits, who's giving away the puck? Jay McClement. How about takeaways? He's taking away the puck. Nick Baxter, not bad. And who's actually playing most minutes? Yeah, I'd be our defenseman. Delzato and Fanuff, good job, you guys. Okay, so now let's go over to the goalies. Okay, so Howard's played 26 games. He has a 1.63 goals against average, 19 wins, 4 losses, and 3 shootout losses. And he also have has a uh, 94.23 save percentage. J James Reimer, on the other hand, has played 14 games. He's got 2.06 save goals against average. Average, sorry, I can't talk today, guys. 9 wins, 5 losses, uh, no overtime and shootout losses, 92.53 save percentage. And Howard also has 4 shutouts to Reimer's 1. So there we go, there's our goalies, no one's got points. Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of the video, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, next video we're going to continue, whoops, drop my uh, headphone there, or my headset. Anyways, um, next video we're going to continue uh, the sim, we're going to go up to probably the, just before the trade deadline, see what happens there, we're going to check up the all-star teams as well, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, if you liked it, please leave a like, or rate, or whatever they call it now on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe to LB10, this is a growing channel, you know, we could really use you guys' help, and we'll see you next time.